What's up everybody? It's your boy James Michael from Dream Reviews and today we're not reviewing anything but we are going over some shoes that I think or I consider the best lightweight neutral shoes in the running game that I've tried so far in 2020. And before we start, there's not a real ranking to these. Each one could be better for you depending on mostly your foot shape, the drop of shoe you like. They're kind of just different enough to where you might like one better than the other, but I wouldn't say one's like definitely better. I have my favorites, you may have yours. So let me know if any of these are one of your favorites. So the first shoe we have is the Saucony Kinvara 11. This shoe is the bread and butter. It is a staple. It is the definition of a lightweight trainer. Now you could go with shoes like the Saucony Ride, but this shoe is just a little more nimble, a little bit lighter, but it can still be used in everyday use. And all these shoes kind of have that same theme going on. What makes this one good to me is just the fact that it feels lightweight, but it doesn't feel flimsy. Some shoes are lightweight, but they don't feel like, they feel kind of cheap. The Convari 11 is just quality. The mesh is quality. It's not ripping up or anything. I've had these for quite a while now. Durability in these things not, are not too bad. I know it's exposed rubber, but I mean, it's looking not too bad. A little dirty, but a little dirt don't hurt. And the cushioning, the, the Power Run cushioning to me, it adds just a little more pop when comparing these to the last year's version. Now, last year's version is not bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those guys who are like, the new one's out. This one's much better. No, I'm not doing that. But this one, it, to me, is my preference if I had to choose one between this one or last year's one. And just a bit higher quality. Just the materials used, the foam, just little things. So to me, Kinvari 11, it has to be on the list of the top three that I've tried so far as far as lightweight trainers. Next up, we have some Hoka One One action. Whoop. The Hoka Rincon. Now the Rincon to me was a shoe that I did not expect to like as much as I did. And last year when I first tried it, I was like, this, this is it. This is that lightweight plus shoe that I was looking for. And for me, it's damn near perfect. Like I can't think of too much that I would change. And everyone has their opinion. Uh, for example, Megan doesn't like to fit in the midfoot. For me, it works. So this is one of those things where I'm t I was telling you about in the beginning where I'm saying, depending on what fits your foot the best, one of these may be better or worse. What makes this one stand out is the fact that I think as far as cushion to weight ratio, meaning it provides the most cushion in the lightest weight package possible, I think this one takes the cake. If you like plush and you're like, I want something lightweight, but I still want a lot of foam. I want some sag height. I want some cushion for the push and the pace. You can't go wrong with the Rincon. The Hoka Rincon has it going on. But the downfall is, of course, the outsole. This thing gets scraped up so easy. So it gets so bad so quick, it's like not even funny. It's the real deal. Like it's, you can just breathe on it. <sighs> Woo! Scraped up already. If you prefer a higher stack height, something with more of a rocker feeling, not as flexible, then this shoe would definitely will be one to try out. I like it a lot. That's why it's in my top three. And my third option for my favorite lightweight shoes of 2020 has to be the Beacon. The Beacon to me is a combination of a great fit, a great purpose, soft, and just being balanced. It's a soft, but without too much cush. It's responsive enough to go fast, but not too firm. It's a good balance shoe. And for my people who want the hashtag wide toe box, Come on now, talk to me now. This is it. Like two years ago, the Beacon came out and I was like, oh, this is the real deal. Last year it was like a, a combination, ba ba. This year I'm like, what do you expect? I mean, it is what it is. It's a Beacon and I love it. I don't know guys, it's, it's one of those things where I believe these three shoes should be in everybody's top three as far as lightweight trainers, daily training, now, will it be the most durable shoe? No, the category within itself is not really a durable category, but it provides a lightweight option for you for your daily runs. If you don't want to wear a traditional Brooks Ghost, a New Balance 880, the Saucony Ride, just you want a little bit less shoe, like that's too much shoe for you, this, these right here are go-tos. All three of these shoes in the last couple years have been good, so if you see the, an old model on sale, go for it. Beacon 2s, Beacon 1s, I mean, I like them all. Find a sale. Don't be like, Jamie, which one? Save that money, baby. Anyway, links down below for all these shoes. If you want to try them on ringwarehouse.com. 
And with that said, let me know what your favorite shoe is as far as the lightweight category. Am, am, I, am I off here? Do you hate these shoes? Is there something I'm missing? I don't get to try everything. And keep in mind, this is my top three. I could probably have a top 20 lightweight shoes if I wanted to, but this is just top three, so we'll, we'll top three. But with that said, be sure to stay in school. Don't do drugs, and if you can, please, with all your might and all your power, keep it tight. Just please.